how engineers do it. Hello friends, welcome to another video on how engineers do it. In this video, we're going to be looking at an easy to implement tip which Power BI users and maybe the people who develop the dashboards can use for their users in order to make uh, the extraction, the data extraction process and the formatting process easier. So let me just uh, give you a little bit of context. So whenever we work on Power BI reports, we often uh, download CSV reports or CSV extracts uh, from certain views of the graph, right? You click on those uh, little three buttons and export to CSV. There's an option called as export to CSV. So whenever that happens, uh, the default format that uh, Power BI downloads those exports is in the CSV format. So in order to explain uh, how this is going to be useful, I have created a dummy CSV file. So the thing about CSV file is when you, whenever you uh, get the download, it's always in the standard format, which doesn't have any data table formatting or anything. And even if you try to make the formatting, and even if you save it, it's going to be in the default uh, format, uh, which doesn't have uh, any kind of a column width or uh, word wrapping or anything. So one way to solve this is to create a macro, uh, which will automatically do the formatting and the word wrapping uh, and uh, gives you uh, the changes uh, automatically at one shot. And then you can save as the same file to the file that you need. Let me just uh, demonstrate how the macro works and then I'll explain you how to uh, establish that macro and use that in your specific cases. Now we have this file here, right? And uh, I'm just gonna open the uh, template, the macro template, and I've made that as uh, um, protected so you can go for read-only. Right now, let me go back to the CSV and let me go to the developer tab and uh, to the macros. And I'm just going to click on run and boom. You can see that uh, the data is already formatted to table and already the uh, word wrapping is applied over here, right? Even if you try to do that to an empty uh, sheet, if you do the same thing, it's not going to work because it's going to say that uh, uh, the active sheet does not contain data, right? So this is the thing I'm just talking about. Now, Let's see how the, you can establish the, for your specific case, right? This macro is going to work for all the different tables, no matter how big your uh, CSV file is, right? Now, let's, what we can do is, uh, if you don't know where the developer, or if you don't get the developer tab, you can always go to uh, the options over here and then go for customize ribbon and you can click the uh, developer tab and it'll come. Just going to close all the Excel, right? We're going to start fresh, Excel file, okay? and uh, go for uh, developer tab, go for visual basic, and over here go for insert, insert module. And I've already uh, created the uh, macro for this. I'm just gonna paste that in the description so that you can use it. And I'm just gonna paste it over here. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna save this file. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use this Excel macro enable template and I'm just going to save it uh, somewhere in the desktop, maybe. Yeah. So that's in the desktop. Uh, some file name. And then I'm going to use CSV formatting, right? Now CSV formatting is the file name. Save, right? That's done. Now the formatting file is saved. Now this macro is done, right? Now let's open the file that you want to format, right? I mean, I'm just going to open the file that I want to format, right? And what you all you have to do is just open the file which you just created that is CSV formatting, formatting, read only, and enable content, right? Now you can go to the file that the table that you want to format, go for developer tab, go for macros, and run it. Boom, right? Now the macro is done, no matter how much uh, big your uh, data is, your CSV data is. And the final thing to do is if you save right now, if you just save, it's not going to save uh, all the formatting. So in order to save, you just got to use a save as. And go to browse and then you can use the Excel workbook and you can save the data. After you save, it's uh, going to open with that formatting, right? So that's all about this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and it's going to be helpful, especially uh, if you are in the same situation of uh, uh, frequently downloading the uh, CSV file. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much and stay tuned.